Welcome back to Ita Race. This is week 173, day four. Uh, defense results. We do have one to take a look at. Um, it's another success. So, uh, it's one of those rare weeks where we haven't lost any points, but there's still plenty of time to lose max points. Uh, let's take a look at the defense replay, though. All right, we have Duo Dagger. Uh, reposition no seal regular dagger also with reposition no seal peony no special drive attack yuri death blow glimmer disarm trap uh, brave erica brazen attack death reposition and finally ascended fjorn with mystic boost and swap level 8 tactics room ball tower Dungeons. So from here, it looks like they are aware of Dimitri's extended range thanks to his uh, Tempest skill. And they're using Yuri to clear the traps. Turn 3, Ball Tower goes off. And here's where they made their mistake. They lost track of the uh, Tempest from Dimitri again. Basically what happened to me yesterday. Lost track of Eunice Ranges. So Dimitri just goes on and one shot Stagger. Seems like a bad sign. Or Duo Dagger in this case. And then thanks to the Order yeah. skills, now he's able to teleport in front just of Sothis and one shot, well, take care of you. And that's it. So yeah, basically what happened to me yesterday, just lost track of units ranges. All right, so let's see what I can do today. Oh, we have an arm. Brave arm, okay. Um. Do okay, so they're also running a double arm set with a near and far save and a Katria. Very difficult to tank from here since basically there is no way to tank from here. Hit and run is difficult because of we doing, especially since she's not an armor unit. So Erika cannot just deal with her. And also we have the the other Erica this week. We have this Erica as opposed to the other Erica. Um, are you a rally trap? No. No kinds of rallies. A slain nod. Okay, very interesting. I'm not sure why. To turn Luna, but infantry pulse. One turn Luna. Mm, you don't have one turn one dead eye. You have an impact skill. Mm, interesting. Um, I think Fiorm will come in handy in a team like this. To deal with Alm and Chrome. Katria, of course, is gonna be the biggest annoyance, as she usually is, just because order skills. Um still think I would well technically I can get over here and then just bait out Chrome with um Name Ash. With Ash, I can just teleport all the way over here and just bait him from this end. Although they would take the defense style, and as and I will definitely get double. Like that's not a. There's no avoiding that then. Yeah, I'll definitely, they'll definitely get their brave effects if 
I go from here. If I tell to tank on from here, he'll have his brave effect. If I tag to have tag from here, brave effect. Basically, wherever I tag to, I try to tank from, they have the brave effects. And because of their near save, Idun is very difficult to play or face as well. This would be a good week if I had like, if it was like a fire week and I had, um, Uh, Lilina. So yeah, there's really no way for me to do anything other than just bait max range. But max range... I guess just a hidden run then? Just go hit not with Erica. Erica should survive one hit from me doing since you won't get bonfire. And then I can retreat. I think it's my only play. Yeah, I don't. I can get Lin here, shoot Fjorm, and then get them out. Because I would take away Fjorm's... I'll hit it with the first hit. No, technically it doesn't matter because Fjorm is Fjorm. Mm. Alright, we'll try this team. I'm not really sure what I can do. I don't really have a good uh, way to enter against a team like this, so... We'll just... Yeah, I mean, it, that won't heal you doing at the very least. Alright, so let me make sure, because one, two, alright, yes. so I can reposition her out. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, of course, she has um, stand skills, so... Do not do least doesn't heal. I want we'll see how much damage she does with her bonfire. Let me aid you. Yeah. To protect the world. At least we do get Gale Force. So take out Idun. Yeah. Maybe this way. Truly? Yes. Of course. Goodness. Oh what? Oh, this is the wrong Guntra. Right. Oh my God, this is the wrong Guntra. What can I do? This is not the correct Guntra. See, this is the problem if you have multiple of the same units. Yeah. This, oh, I could have easily drawn back Erica. Let me fix this because this will mess me up. Oh my god, I cannot believe I had the wrong one. Ah, oh, that sucks. I had the I brought the wrong Guntra. Let 
I was like, wait, why can't I draw back? It's because I'm supposed to be using not this one, but this one. See, there's the drawback that I was looking for. Ah, uh, and also, you don't have a seal, right? So let's just redo this theme all together. Make sure to at the very least give you the correct seals for you guys. I guess for this one, you should be running in steady breath. Where is it? Stands breath. Okay. Let's give you that. Peony should be running her chill speed and you should be running your... Alright, as you run attack defense form. Oh man, I can't believe... Because Chrome would have been able to take one hit. My Chrome would have been able to take one hit from that Chrome. Uh, what am I doing? Ah, oh, that really sucks. All right. Where is the text beat solo? Ah. Chrome's running Swiss pair over here. He still has it over here. And then this Guntra, which is the wrong Guntra altogether. I guess you can run Blade Session. It really doesn't matter. Ah. All right. There we go. Now, now we're, I was like, wait, why, why can't I draw back? All right, this hopefully shouldn't happen again. All right, another Katria with a return trap this time and a Lara Shell. Mm, Lara Shell is annoying just because I don't have far save. Can I get Erica in now? Larsha will make it very difficult for me to go in with Erica this time. Because Erica can kill Sigur. But then she will only be able to. Maybe she can get Gale Force of Sigur. But I have to break this. And then I have to reposition Eric over here so she can go after Sigur. Get Gale Force. And if she didn't kill him in one turn, then she'll definitely kill him in two turns. Get back over here. If I have Gale Force, I can break this and move out. If I don't, I have to reposition her back out of the way. But then that leaves me in range of large shells. So no player phase for this one. Enemy phase is a little annoying because of Lara Shell's range. I could do it from here since she'll only be able to go one, two, and three. Her space is five spaces, so one, two, three, four, five. So from here I can bait them out. Uh, who would be the best to bait them out? Ryoma? Or Fjorm. 43 speed to his 44 speed. Technically he's a little faster. Both of them have no follow-up. So that wouldn't be a problem in itself. I mean I am gonna get doubled by this Mia. And then I'll get doubled by Triandra as well. No, well it depends. If Triandra attacks first, then I'll definitely get doubled by her. If Tiandra attacks second, then I won't get Brave Attack. One, two, three, four, five. Technically, no, you can reach over there. One, two, three, four, five. What am I doing? Counting, not counting the space. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, at least Larshell can reach because one, two, three. 
Yeah, she can go one, two, three. She goes over not. So she will reach and she will actually be the one that attacks. Either from this end or this end. Mia can still attack because one, two, three. And then Triandra can attack from here. I do think Ryoma then. Yeah, it's physical attack, so we'll go with Ryoma. Good morning. Alright, put you here. And need to get you guys out of there as well. Onward. Break this. Put you here. Ryoma can go straight over here. Good morning. Dance for buffs. As you say. Death's caress. Orders, please. The glimmer of life. There goes Mia. It's a duel. Yeah, I'm here too. Fast enough to avoid the um She was fast enough to avoid uh not to avoid to bypass my damage reduction. Now I can get Lin in there and just finish off Mia. Taking aim. What's the plan? One, two, three. So I think you will attack uh, Lin. Technically, both of you can attack Lin, and Lin is not exactly known for her rest. Object. So, will a boy get in that head? Yes. We'll get. Mm, I guess you could move one, two, and then Sarah will be able to jump here. Who else can do weird shit? That's pretty much the only thing. The only weird thing that can happen is if you not moves first, which she should, either not or Katria will move first. Thanks to the and thanks to the orders. Say Katria moves here, then uh, again the only one that will be able to jump will be Sarah. And she'll only be able to jump here, not be able to hit anyone. If not moves, she'll move one, two, and then Sarah can jump right here and attack Ash. Or attack yes. Yorm. Uh, then Katria will move two spaces and Larsha will not be able to move. So let's just Maybe this way. do this. Taking aim. Get Ash yes, out of there just in case. And then the only one that can get attack is Yorm. Exactly like I said it was. All right, now I can take out um, Sarah. The glimmer of life. Yeah. And Lara Shell doesn't stand a chance at killing me. Is there a way that she can get here, or anybody can get here? The only one that's gonna, well, both of you who have orders. If not moves here, Larshell will not be able to get here. If Larshell moves here, not cannot get in here. If Katria moves here and then not moves here, then Larshell will be able to go here. But that wouldn't happen because of the um, attack priorities. So Larshell has to attack first. 
She might actually go after Lin because she will do most damage to Lin. What's the plan? But I have allies between me, so if you initiate combo, it's within two spaces when allies, so I'll get the speed from that. And then if it wins fast, if you need to win three spaces for an ally, grants it. So I should have the speed advantage over large shell, which will have to move all the way over here. Being outside the range of everybody else for orders. All right, so that's fine. Uh, we want large shell to be the last survivor, as she will be the easiest one for me to deal with. Alright, she just wants to go against air, that's fine. It would be a little annoying now, those just because of their non commitment to attack. In order to bait you out, I have to be here. I understand. Yeah, your trace skill is gonna be annoying. Because you will keep running away. So how do I bait? Katria to come after Fionn. I do not object. I can dance you, put you here, and then Fionn will be able to move here. And then since Katria will not, there's no way if she attacks from here. Unless Lara Shell goes after Fionn, which she shouldn't. Please. Mostly because Fjorn has more rest, so she should keep attacking air since yes. Fjorn was already in her range last turn. And then Nod will not move first because Katria will have an attack adva uh, opportunity. So she can also go 1, 2, attack right here, but I am not gonna stand on you. I'm not gonna stand on. Um, On a ball trap. All right, so go like this. I do not go here as you and said. go here. And as for you two, I guess we'll just wait. All right, Larsha goes after air again. She traces away. And then Katria goes after Fjorn. This is my all. And then Nod goes after Fjorn. And then I can take them both out now. Here, dance, this way. The glimmer go here, I go here, Pion is protected. I guess that's why she's been going after air because uh, air is the closest one, so. Alright, and that's, that's it, right? Got both ether pods, yeah. A merciful death. And that is it, and I cannot 
Oh man, I can't believe I messed up that first one just because. Actually, let me see one thing. There was something weird about that team. Oh no, no, no. I don't think it is, but. Yeah, technically she didn't have it. she didn't even have Pathfinder because she had a slain weapon. Yeah, that was really weird. Like the whole point of Nod is Pathfinder, but that Nod had a slain act, a slain lance. So technically that team did not even have Pathfinder. I knew it was a little weird, but I think they just didn't want their armors to get moved out of place. That's pretty much what it probably was. Yeah, I mean, if I had like a... Well, Gale Force Erica um, is good for Gale Force and mobility, but uh, like if I had like uh, Luna or Mumbo Erica, I definitely would have def not needed three turns to kill that Idun. Would have just killed him one turn, especially with like Luna. Although I don't, I would not have been able to proc Luna due to her guard effect. Yeah, I would have hit Luna's three turn cooldown. So hit one, three to two, hit me back to the one, hit her back one to zero. So yeah, I wouldn't have been able to proc Luna. And it's the main reason I, like, that's. The biggest weakness of Erica that she doesn't have anti anti guard effects. If she had anti guard, then yeah, she would be. A, you could just give her Luna and she'll literally destroy anything. Um, but that is it for Iteris. But we do have some news to discuss. Like a hero rises is done, and the winner is Ninja Corin. So, for the second year in a row, an Edelgar made it to the top, uh, top eight, lost on the first round, and a duo ninja unit won. So, will it happen again this year? Will uh, three hopes Edelgar release this year, make it all the way to a hero rises, and lose to whatever duo ninja comes out at the end? Uh, so that last match was like, I'm pretty like, I think everybody was just saving their oars at the last second. Ah, uh, no, this is not a boarding gauntlet. Let's look at the boarding gauntlet because it was pretty close throughout. In fact, uh, for the most part, not this, for the most part, um, Azura tended to be on top. But that final round, look at that. I think everybody just saved their... Like, as I didn't see the last two hours, but this means that Corin was behind on the last hour and everybody just spent all of their flags at the last hour. And that's the only reason... That's what causes, like, this discrepancy. And this is why I don't like them, the scoring system that we use now with the multiplier. Uh, because, like... A unit can be on top all the way up to the last hour and then just people saving their flags just can cause a landslide victory and this is like a landslide victory I wish they had, uh, we could see like a graph like hour by hour that would like be super helpful like to actually see if it's like support or just um, people saving their flags for the last hour all right um yeah take a quick look at you guys i'm actually not that bad on time today so we got brave blitz at number one followed by oron kako kenny matt ecla lambrus promise dark luster uh kitsune yakiomi michael Diego, Neo Swordsman, Ducks, uh, Ardu of Flying. I do have Ardu of Flying for to give my own Ryoma. Uh, I just been holding on to it. I I could really use him like for Arena, 
like water season would be a good for mid scoring with both Yorm and Ryoma. Uh, Ukisu, Logan, Silver, Eva, Bean, Amethyst, and Allen. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.